Lamborghini Countach. When I was a kid, I was like, oh, the more the exhaust pipes, the faster the car. So this thing's gotta go so fast. Check this thing out, guys. This is a 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach. Lacks the fender flares. My personal favorite touch of this. Doesn't have the wing. This thing is a naturally aspirated V12 six-speed manual, making in the 300 horsepower range. I don't exactly know, um, but if you guys want to come check this out, I'll just take the camera. Right here, we've got a white interior, but look at this, guys. This car only has 100 miles on it. The doors go straight up in true Lambo fashion. You look down here, this is a white interior. This thing is gorgeous. I mean, you can truly see the 80s styling in this thing, and it really just shows of how dated this is, yet how classic it is. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So much going on. It's got such huge tires. I am in love with this thing, but only 100 miles. These are literally delivery miles, so it was never driven. That's what this place is all about. Marshall Goldman has the rarest, most exclusive cars out there. And kind of their saying is it may not be the cheapest, but it's gonna be the best. So like if you look right over here, this Porsche 911 Turbo S is in what's called Aspen Green. It's the only car built in this color. It has just under 500 miles. It is the second lowest mile known Turbo S. So the other one out there that's yellow, that has less than 100 miles, but you could get yellow on this car. Aspen Green, is, this is one of one. It's the only one with this color. And apparently the guy that owned this before had a paper that he would keep track of everywhere he went in this car. So he has like a list of like, I went to the store six miles. And so every mile on this car is documented on where he went and how many miles he took. This is a Singer right over here. I mean, this place is crazy. We've got a McLaren SLR. This car goes zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds. It's got a naturally aspirated V8. Might be supercharged, I don't remember. It makes 690 horsepower. GTC 4 Lusso T, this is a twin turbo V8. Ferrari 612 Scagaletti. Bentley Continental GT. Huracan. This Ferrari F12 Berlinetta in Rosso Fioco, something like that. I don't really know, paint specs, you know. Ferrari 488, Ferrari 458 Spider. Look at this interior on this 458 Spider, guys. We've got the blue with the white. I mean, this thing is just crazy. This place has some of the greatest cars ever built. Steve, Foster, follow me. So earlier, we talked about the BMW i8 and what we might do on this channel. This is our idea right here. Air ride, aftermarket wheels, a nice wrap, not necessarily just like this, but enough to make it, you know, show really well. Look how low this thing gets. And I mean, one of these. and a big chassis mount wing. This interior is crazy. So they actually have a back seat. You guys won't be able to see it super well. So this right here is what's called the airlift management system. So this is AccuAir. So what this does is you have preset heights for your car. So this would be like all the way lowered, ride height and going over bump. This is each tire being managed and this is the rear axle, front axle. So actually with the E-level management system, it keeps the same ride height no matter where you are when you set it to one of these or you can completely adjust it yourself. So what that means guys, if we look back here, you've got a little bit of a gap between the tire and the fender, right? But if we go to the front, our tire is actually completely in. So it's all the way down. So you can adjust the ride height to ride at a normal ride height or all the way down on the ground when you're holding still. So do you guys think this is a good idea? I mean, do you guys like how it looks? I love it personally. And I think this is what we should do. What do you guys I think? think? This is the car, just different wheels. Yeah, I don't love these wheels, but I think they do look good. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> chassis mount. <laughs> if you guys don't know what a chassis mount wing is, we will put in a picture right now so that you guys can see it. going guys we're here at Marshall Goldman in Beverly Hills California we have good company around us we have a purple McLaren Center right here one of 500 in the world 
I mean, we got all this error going on. It's completely MSO'd out. We got purple carpet interior. This thing is gorgeous. Purple's my favorite color, so I mean, this thing is amazing to me. Not a huge McLaren fan, but uh, the scent is gorgeous. But right here, this is the real showstopper. We have an Aston Martin Vulcan, one of 24 in the world. These were built for exclusively track only. It's a race car, no VIN. You cannot license it. However, there's a company called Lazante in Europe that has homologated two of them for road use in Great Britain. One of them was like a burgundy color and the other's black. This one is VIN number 007, much like James Bond 007, pretty awesome. Um, it is for sale for $1.8 million or 1.759, I think. Um, they are naturally aspirated V12, a side exit exhaust right here. Obviously, I mean, this thing is built exclusively for track use. This wing actually mounts to the chassis and check out these rear lights right here. They have a fiber optic system that met, lets them come out from the back and onto those little uh, things that pull out rather than having one continuous light. We got the filler caps and everything. Um, and so if you check out up here, we've got this splitter that is just absolutely massive. Just, I mean, this thing could take all the air on this planet, I'm sure. If you look right over here, guys, check out this interior, guys. We've got the Recaro Halo racing seats, five point harnesses, open top steering wheel so that you can see your revs so that you know when to downshift and upshift. We got plexiglass windows, roll cage. I mean, this thing is purely built for racing. A few moments later. Day. Hey guys, we are out at Sunset GT. We decided to go here instead of the winter drive. We're thinking this is going to be a better event. You, what do you guys so. think? I think so. I look think at what's, so, look at what's lining up already, bro. Look at the piece, all right? Yeah, let's let's see what goes on. Okay, guys, we're out here at Sunset GT, and check this thing out. There's a Lamborghini Murcielago SV. Only about 186 of these were ever built. There were supposed to be 300, but Lamborghini stopped production at 186. Less than 50 of them ever came to America. It's a six and a half liter dash aspirated V12. All-wheel drive. Come and check out this interior. Racing seats, full carbon fiber. This thing is awesome. This is one of my dream cars. There are so many cars out here. These are what are called the Senna XPs. They are one of one. They are full carbon. Look right there. They're all in a different color. This one's Brazil themed. Um, honestly, don't know about this one or that one. That one's just kind of got Brazil color. But look right there. That is actually painted on there. These are all one of one. They're the only ones like them. And they're called the Senna XP. Hey guys, this right here is an Alfa Romeo 8C. Very few of these came to America, if any at all. Look at how gorgeous this design is. Huracan Evo, we've had these featured in a couple of our videos. Ferrari 488, one of my personal favorites. And a Bentley Continental. Crazy. This show's done a lot going on. What do you think so far? Unbelievable. I've never seen the quality level of cars that are here anywhere else. Totally. What do you think, Foster? It's freaking unreal. I love it. Yeah. Every show so far has been unreal for me. I think this one's starting to top them. I don't, I don't know if it's quite as good as the Vulcan, but things uh, are getting crazy. There. Yeah. there is some um, killer whips. Totally. Real talk, make real music, got real fans, and they all for me. They call me a as you can see, Lamborghini right now is super popular on this side. We got the Urus, a bunch of Huracan, Ventador SB.
Look at this 600 LT, completely blacked out and then roll. That yellow interior is so sick. Look at all this carbon. What do you think about the spec on the 600 LT? I think it, wait, what? It's the 600 LT? Get at it. That ain't the P1? Oh, it's a 650S. Anyways, anyway, I'm just making fun of Fox. Spider, pretty cool. I like the purple though. Purple is amazing. But I actually, I like the spec on this. I think it's pretty good. I it's, like the yellow seats. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty contemporary. Why but are you aiming good. at me? Because I'm talking to you. Oh, I wasn't even listening. Putting it inside, I'm like, did I go to Wendy's twice yesterday? You just heard that F12 drive past. Here's an 812 super fast. What do we prefer? 812 or F12? F12. That, well, that F12, that drove. Yeah. No, no, not that one specifically. I just mean 812 in general, F12 in general. F12. Really? I just, I don't think that the body styling of the 812 lived up to the next generation. Okay. So for me personally, guys, I think I would take the F12 as well, actually. Um, it's just a little more aggressive, especially the F12 TDF. I would definitely take that. Um, but yeah, I, I think the F12 sounds better, looks better, just it kind of is better. So let us know what you think in the comments. This was at Lamborghini Newport Beach yesterday. This is a Koenigsegg Agera RS. This one is nicknamed Ruby. It is the car that broke the speed record in Power Up, Nevada. It went 277.9 miles per hour. This thing is so fast. It has since been beaten by the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, and that one went 304 miles per hour. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's probably one of the best cars I've seen here, especially. What of do you think, Foster? What? Yes. What are we talking about? This, this car? Is Chiron. I freaking. It's sick. It's just it's super plain. It was a pretty simple spec. But That's what, what I'm sorry, saying. What saying it's saying it's I'm done. done. Okay. Hey guys, so this Sunset GT is actually uh, also one of the stops for Gumball 3000 2020. So right here we got the Huracan Evo. Like I said, we featured this in a couple of our vlogs. And then right here, the Lamborghini Urus. I love this car. This thing is a beast. We got a red interior on white exterior. I love this thing. We may have one of these coming soon to play around with, but we'll let you know. We got the La Ferrari right here. And then the Aston Martin Zagato shooting brake is just about to head out. Makes 1900 horsepower, all wheel drive. Um, it's the only car that Pedestrian has itself has built. It's been redesigned twice now. It's not in production yet, neither is the Remox C2, so we'll see if it actually gets built. All electric. I like it. Gonna build the thing with a B12. How about a flat 12? That would have been the way. The body cool. shape though is good looking. Oh, it, it's, it, but it looks it's electric. Pretty. It doesn't look like it should be. Yeah, because there's no vent. Okay guys, that concludes this California trip. We are about to head back to Utah and hopefully get some snow content out there maybe or something, but I think we had a great I time. Leave. I know oh, I awesome did. Um, I don't want to leave either. I really don't want to leave of back to I mean, the snow. We're standing next to this Performante and there's a the Paninfarina Batista over there uh, being loaded Rolls up. Rolls Royce Cullinan rolling up Rolls right Rolls Royce Cullinan passing. 
Look how gorgeous it is. So, uh, hey guys, it's really hard to walk away from this, but hey, we'll be until back. Until next time, stay classy, America. Peace. About to head back. My hat's crooked. Um, we're about to head back, and we're. Uh, it again. That was disgusting. It's just funny. All right, okay. here we go. Three, two, one, go.